daddy was. He begged me, said it was his dream to be in radio. You know what, he should stick to managing the janitorial group. He's awful. He certainly is. I guess there was oh, a reason no. it was just a dream. They're inside. He actually records his show ahead of time so that yep. he can broadcast during work They're hours. They're following us. Did you guys hear that? Sounded like a rat. Mm-hmm. Rat Dinosaurs getting aren't eaten. the only invasive species InGen brought to the island. There are lots of rats in these tunnels. Maintenance is always setting traps down here. Don't worry, Jess. We should be safe in here. Where do all these doors lead? The maintenance corridors. The park's essential systems are in there. Uh, electrical, water, air conditioning, you know, that sort of thing. The tunnels on this side are for transporting animals, personnel, and food. That's why they're so big. They are separate from the maintenance side to prevent accidents. Here we go. I believe after this we're going to get attacked. <laughs> are you sure we shouldn't head to the visitor center, Dr. Sorkin? InGen is bound to start there when they don't hear from the rescue team. These tunnels don't run all the way to the visitor center. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather not risk any more overland travel. Good point. Has anyone seen my cigarettes? I could swear I had some. I didn't realize you smoked. Normally, I manage to duck out a few times a day, but we've been preoccupied. Where did you last have them? Right here in my pocket, or so I thought. Maybe they fell out when we jumped from the water tower? She took I them. Suppose. Jess took them. Oh, well. I'm probably better off without them. Yeah, I knew she did. Yeah, and they're smelling them on her. There they are. Happy... Punch? Did it say? Do you mind if we stop for a rest? My legs are killing me. I suppose we could all use a break. <clears throat> Happy punch I don't cigarettes. Know how much longer those embryos will last. We need to meet my contact at the boat. We're staying here until Oscar gets back. We don't even know if he's alive. Oscar's fine. He's coming back. And come hell or high water, we are not leaving. Oh no. Dude, you might want to reconsider. Then yep. again, maybe you have a point. Come on, <laughs> run. No time. Hide. Whew. Oh man. Stampede. Not really a stampede. Let it go across your face. Off my face, stupid. Thank God. Oh no. Just stay there. Oh no. This could be a death scene. <laughs> Get down! Oh fuck my leg! Oh, I could have got gold again! If I hadn't have messed it up. Clever girl. Jess is like, I need a cigarette. Oh no. Peekaboo. <laughs> Care for a lysine supplement? No thanks. Well, you know what? Actually, you know what? Maybe I will. Actually, give me some around, ecstasy. muscles probably need whatever protein I can give them. Yeah. My thoughts exactly. I haven't gotten this much exercise since Carnival. I guess we've got a lot of extra lysine now that the parasaurs don't need the external supply. Yeah, uh, about that. It's not just the parasaurs. We added the antidote to the main water supply. But that'll reach every dinosaur in the park. The lysine contingency... Cured? That's crazy. Cured lysine contingency? Uh, that's crazy talk. I don't know how I feel. Uh, I feel like it's crazy talk. You're insane. Denying the dinosaurs lysine was the only safety mechanism we had to keep them out of the global ecosystem. 120 miles of the ocean won't do. 
What about their ecosystem? Ecosystem will adjust. The dinosaurs can't breed. They can breed. We've proven it. Proven it. So let's let's see what she has to say with that, or what he has to say. We've already denied them the right to breed. That's their death sentence. Yes, but who knows how much damage they can do before then? A single brachiosaur can destroy as much jungle in one day as a whole herd of elephants. They adapt. I can imagine the impact a group of them would have on a rainforest. Ecosystem will adjust. Do I need to remind you that there are 120 miles of ocean between Isla Nublar and the mainland? The Lysine contingency was cruel and unnecessary. Yeah, and if they can swim... Do you know for a fact that none of these animals can swim? Oh, come on, Jerry. It's how Asian elephants migrated to Sri Lanka from India. Yeah. There's precedent. You're being ridiculous. There's they no adapt, evidence dude. sauropods were swimmers. They adapt. None. What the hell? See, she's just dumb now. Because... Uh, it just pisses me off with this. How do you not know about old animals like animals from the past they adapted they evolved they evo uh, we're not gonna yeah and if you hear me say evolved and you're one of those people and you know who I'm talking about and just fuck right off you know come on this is a video game and I'm talking about that right now so yeah they evolved they adapted to the sea and would have gone across the sea to get somewhere else. You see them in the field every day. Have you ever even seen one of our dinosaurs try to swim? We keep them in cages, Laura. They don't get the chance. Exactly. Know this. More quadrupeds can swim than can't. All right. I'll concede Quadruped. that it's possible there Four -legged are four animals that can swim. But I still believe that 120 miles of open water is an effective barrier. You just let them all die? The moral choice is clear. Uh. The remote possibility that a dinosaur could make it to the mainland is far outweighed by our responsibility to treat these animals humanely. No. They're here because of us. Killing them isn't the point? I don't want to see these animals die. I really don't. But we all agreed to the Lysine contingency. It was a prerequisite to working here. For you, maybe. But you have to remember, Jerry, I was here before there even was a Lysine contingency. You're a loser. No point in discussing this. I might as well tell him the truth. Henry Wu came up with the Lysine contingency. And let's not mince words, it's a kill switch, as part of his bid for the top spot. I couldn't stop it, but I never agreed to it, not even for a second. You're still here. Let's see. Continue my life's work, or let other people corrupt it, profit by it, and completely prevent me from even talking about it. Does that sound like a choice to you? No. Yes. I guess not. Oh, oh I guess no we have different views, idiot. You can't possibly believe it's okay to eradicate an entire species let alone whole groups of them, regardless of how they came to be here. No one has that right. They were already extinct. Even if every dinosaur on the island were to die, Site B is still active. We could clone them again. What you did was reckless. I'm sorry, Jerry, but that's naive. Do you have any idea how expensive it is to clone even one dinosaur? Why would we the have to clone dinosaurs? A pipe dream? It'd be cool to clone like one T-Rex, one Brachiosaur, one Pterodactyl, one of each species, but beyond that, why do it? Like, there's no... I, I wouldn't see the point nowadays. In our current age... <sighs> There, there wouldn't be a point because they'd overrule. They'd ki well, not really. But you know, we'd be using resources which we wouldn't really have to use. Like if a T-Rex overran um, California or overran Pittsburgh, we'd be having to use uh, 
military forces to take them out. And that would be a waste. So... But I still think it would be fucking cool to see a Tyrannosaurus Rex in real life. Just clone one, put it in the highest security, the biggest cages ever. With diamond bars going across. You can't break diamond. So let's do it. We're responsible. Well, normally, I'd agree I don't know. with you. No one has the right to kill an entire species. But surely Rant you over. recognize that this is a special case. We are responsible. Uh, no point in discussing this. Yes, we are responsible. Not just for our own welfare, but for the animals as well. I, I don't know, Laura. I, I, I don't know. I need to process this. I, I'm gonna have to tell InGen. I understand. Are you guys done yet? Jess, where'd you go? Oh, I got a gold on that. Nice. Just down the hall looking at stuff? Not that you noticed I was gone. I'm sorry, honey. I was distracted, but she don't was smoking. go again like that, okay? Yeah, okay. Oh, you bitch. Shut up. God. Just down the hall. Could have been killed. Would have been my own fault. No good. Here it comes. Go! <laughs> Ah, don't do that to me. Ah, Jesus. Oh, Raptor's there now. Oh, Jesus, run. What the hell? I did it. I did that. Attack each other. Stay still. Stay still. I'm dead. Nope. Oh, yes. Eat that raptor. Hell yeah. Slowly but surely. Do these things ever stop eating? No. Vanish! Are you kidding me? Graceful. Come on. Uh, I know you're about as coordinated as a three-legged mule. I'm coordinated enough to kick you off. Whoa, whoa, easy. I take it back. Damn, you're lucky. You ought to forget our deal and buy a lottery ticket. The embryos. Yeah, yeah, relax. I, uh... Don't have them. I, um... You lost it. You lost it? It must have fallen out. Right outside the door. Otacon, guide me. Now there's the place to hide. Last thing I need is for those things to see me better. All right, so we're going to have to go through the door. Or is there something else? Something up here. No, going down, looking around. I do not believe so, so here we go. Oh, it's locked. Good. If I can't open it, they can't either. I agree. And he's coming back, but we have to go behind the boxes. Could he not smell me? I'm pretty sure he could sense me around there. To smell me. Smell my odor. My disgusting... Oh, Jesus. Here they come.
Oh, I got a gold. Nice. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Idiota! Do you know what you've done? Hey! In case you didn't notice, it wasn't exactly a leisurely stroll over here. You dropped it. You'll find it. Hold your horses. That T-Rex is still out there. Is he? Oh, yeah, he is. He's feeding. Like a lovely T-Rex. Get back in there. 